Hello and welcome to Archive From Home, the first in our video series where staff of the National Archives pick a record from our collections and explain why they've chosen it. I have selected an 18th century recipe book which I'll describe shortly, but firstly a little bit of background information. My name is Elizabeth and I work in the National Archives, which is the official archives of central government in Ireland. We preserve and make publicly available the records of state and also contribute to Ireland's cultural life and memory. We're closed to the public at the moment due to the pandemic, but we've taken this opportunity to give you a flavour of the rich records which we hold in trust for you. Given that many of us have been baking in the recent lockdown, I have some copies here of recipes from an early 18th century recipe book drawn from our private collections. We hold very few recipe books from this period, so what do we know about this one? Well, we know it belonged to Diana Ray Twigg, wife of the Church of Ireland Archdeacon William Twigg of Limerick. And it's likely that both she and her nieces compiled the recipe book, given the fact that there's different handwriting throughout. It's a mixture of both savoury and sweet recipes, together with household hints and cures. So, for example, if you have ever overindulged in a good plum cake, macaroons or orange brandy, these can be more than offset by the frankly disgusting sounding purging ale and diet drink. The latter of which consists of an ounce of saxifrage, an ounce of sassaparilla, an ounce of osmond root. Items which we all have in our store cupboards at the moment. See these recipes, their transcripts and much more on our Twitter page. And don't forget to tune in to our next Archive From Home, which we'll feature on our Twitter feed very soon. Thanks for watching.